I do think it's a bit overkill though, having four different fucking forms. But here's the thing: the the third and the fourth form are actually very similar, so yeah. you're not gonna really notice it too much when it does change. I didn't anyway, because here's the thing: I took down the third form and I got really nervous. Um, so I thought, okay, I've still got the fourth form. It's like, nope, we've just finished. Oh, so when did I take down the fourth form? I don't know. I even see it come out. But yeah. Ultimecia combined with Griever now. Yep. Also, Ultimecia Griever, as this one's called. And starting off with Ultima, because of course it is. Yeah. This could have basically wiped me out, if I'm being honest. If I'd have been a bit more unlucky. Uh, as I got to this one other time, and it was a pain in the ass. Uh, but I did get the Renzo Kukin. Yeah. And you got a chance to get a different finisher too, depending on what you get. Although it didn't happen here. Nope. Uh, apparently, no getting rid of uh, Irvine here, which I did not mm. want to happen. I'd have rather have Quistus have dis disappeared, if I'm being honest. Yeah. Absorbed into time. But we oh, do get yeah. Zyle. And unfortunately, though, I do waste a turn because I did try. Just as uh, uh, the boss got rid of Irvine, I was trying to heal him, so. Lorenzo Kukin. Get ready to see this quite a bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Anything? Nope, not it. No finisher this time. Yeah, because you've got a few finishers with Skull, depending on like what weapon you get. Since using a save file now that has the Lionheart, you can even get that finisher as well. Yeah. But you've got like Rough Divide, you've got uh, Faded Circle, I think it was, and you've got like, well, Lionheart, and there's like one other one. Oh, okay. Blasting Zone. As you can see, I'm also not doing the triggers now for some reason. I'm guessing it just does it automatically, I guess. Hmm. Like the triggers aren't coming up at all, and I definitely recorded it, so. Oh. Huh. That's odd. Oh, yeah, by the way, it's only at this point I realized I hadn't. The boss no longer had a meltdown going. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Those attacks were about to do quite a lot more. Yeah! <laughs> Basically, what like, doubled your damage input right there? Huh? Almost, yeah. Yeah. Get me a meteor stone going, cause why not? You know, I I, I think meteor is also a pretty good uh, uh, spell or an item you can use. Uh, you're gonna get about three thousand, I want to say, from it, if uh, on average. Now here's the thing, the boss doesn't actually change forms for its fourth form, it just basically gets different tactics and maybe a different setting, I'm not sure, but uh... Well, no, I remember what the fourth form is, basically it's Ultimecia's final form. Yeah, but here's the, the does it look, I don't think it looks any different, does it? No, it looks different than this. Does it? Yeah, it does, I, I remember that. Because I remember... Alright, this must be it then, but I remember... Yeah, you confused. basically backed out Ultimecia Griever, yeah, no. Now, Ultimecia's fourth form, what you might actually be refer- Oh, it's not dead yet, yeah, I forgot it's ever part of its body is- Its fourth form actually has two phases to it, where that- There's not much of a difference there, but- No, when you're talking from this to the actual fourth form, though, it changes quite a bit. By the way, as you saw there, if I attack with the, my blade now with uh, Squall, I actually heal the boss up, so... Oh. It's, it's uh, unfortunately going to leave me in a bit of a issue. So yeah, I basically just try... Unfortunately, Carbuncle gets TKO'd. Oh yeah, GF defense has been destroyed here. So I can't even use my strategy for that anymore. But uh, thankfully... But as you can see, I I'm a little bit stuck at this point, because I've not been this far in this fight at any point, so I wasn't sure what uh, the boss was weak to and all that shit. 
Look at this point, I'm looking for like meteor or yeah, I was looking for meteor. Because like I said, squall is pretty much useless at the moment until I can start using the fucking blade again. Thankfully, that actually healed me up a little bit. Yeah. As I say, I wonder why his attacks to heal the boss. I'm he not sure. I, I think it's actually probably because of what I've got attached to the uh, to the um, attack elemental spell. Mm. It's the only thing I can think of, but I'm not sure what yeah. it's, actual, um, it's actually uh, strong against. Like, I'm not sure what it absorbs as um, health. So I actually didn't look at any of that. I basically just went into the fight thinking, okay, I'll give it a try, see how it goes, and I actually ended up winning, so... <laughs> Hmm. I'm gonna look that up right now because I'm kind of curious about that. So yeah, I'm gonna probably be seeing a bunch of flare stones, a bunch of meteors, at least for a few more minutes. I know at some point I start using um, Zell's Limit Break as well to do quite a bit of damage, but I don't know at what point that'll be. I think that's probably for the fourth form. Got the meteor going. Once again, absolutely love the animation for meteor. I think it's fantastic. Apparently, Ultimecia absorbs the holy element, which might have been why that. Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure that's tied to something. I don't know what, though, so it might have been. It might holy. be based off of the Lionheart weapon, perhaps. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Oh, I also noticed in here, according to this, Renza Kukin always does eight hits. Hmm. What was the Lionheart? Well, just the Renzo Kuki oh, in general. Okay. In other words, there might not be a, allowed to do a finisher in this fight. Yeah, maybe. That would make sense. Alright, for some reason I try to slow even though obviously it's not going to work. But... I figured I'd give it a try. The only, like I say, the good thing is, I mean, it, it's not exactly a war of attrition at this point. I'm still very much in danger because I'm basically playing the boss fight completely blind at this point. And yeah. I uh, was recording, so uh, that's why I, I, I pretty much just... Plus the fact that one of your characters is kind of your more most reliable character is kind of worthless in this phase because of the absorbing the damage thing doesn't help Yeah, that, it really isn't help. I could have probably got Zell to low health and tried the limit break with that, but I don't like risking it with... Um, at this yeah. point, I, I'm still like, oh, there's still another form to come. I, I basically just something. The only one I've been alright with losing at this point, like I say, would have been Quistus, because uh, I, I still had um, Selfie and Renoa still as backup. I, neither one of them I'm particularly big fans of either, uh, gameplay wise, but um, I was able to at least uh, hold on long enough to beat the entire boss. Yeah, spoiler alert, I do beat the boss. It's like I doing a let's play or something like I'm gonna put in that many fucking deaths <laughs> oh uh, did you end up playing 14 last night then yep yeah I got some 14 and you got some more of those phantasmagoria tombstones oh nice Got some of the allegory ones too. Although that's limited to like 450 a week, so uh, I freaking hate that. I, uh, that's why. I, sorry. That's why I didn't start doing any actual serious phantasmagoria token grinding until the patch dropped, because then they would take the limit off of that one, which they did. Because the new one that came out, the allegory one. 
by the way, people, I think we just beat the boss. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Thank fuck for that. Yeah, basically there was two phases to this form here, this third form. There's actually two phases to form four, that I remember. <laughs> Although, cost, uh, like, appearance changes, there's not much of a difference between three. I mean, there's a little bit, but... Be something you have to really look at to notice. He's during phase four. They look like sperms. So yeah, I, I don't know why I got confused about how many forms this thing has. I, I think maybe because of the transitions like this. I, I, I'm not sure. I, I just I know at this point I was thinking, okay, it's time for the third form now. Uh, when this is actually the fourth. Oh yeah, fun fact, a little bit of the theme that I'd be playing right now has a little bit of a mix of the a theme from a little bit of a theme from FF seven when the Shinra basement when you were down there. Which is mm. actually not a bad touch. I don't remember how that sounds. Yeah. Okay, oh, yeah, this is definitely different than the third form. Yeah, I, I, I guess I, I don't know why I got confused. I, I all I know is I was convinced this was the third form for some reason. And start things off oh, with yeah, hell's, hell's judgment. judgment. Yeah, I think this is the. To be fair, I actually don't think this is as hard as the previous form. Oh yeah, this is the move that drops everybody's freaking health down to like single digits. Lucky for me, I have Mega Elixirs. This is like someone moves other final bosses uses in other games. <laughs> right Heartless Angel Sephiroth. <laughs> oh, GF defense has been destroyed. And yep. thankfully, I can hit with Squall again now. Yeah, which is good. Because it means if you get a limit break with him here, he can go to town on her with it, literally. Alright, so he's basically... Basically, I'm trying to... Alright, Meltdown's coming in. That's good. I believe I'm going to get another... Uh... No, just a high potion. That surprised me. Oh, yeah, because I wanted to make sure I didn't completely wipe out and game over, so I went for... To keep Zell and Squall low on health. Yeah. And we're in the weekend. Uh, let's see advantage? what we get here for a finisher. Or, Nothing. or no finisher. Wow. Hmm. Right, thankfully, but she's targeting Squishes. Yeah. yeah, had I hit the other two, yeah, they would have been dead. <laughs> Unfortunately, I also can't use Carbuncle to get um, health back on the others. And for some reason, I used Mega Relic, so I don't know why I did that. I uh, probably should have just used a uh, Mega Potion or something just to get everybody's health up a little bit instead of going for max health. It is what it is. Yeah. I do know I used a lot of limit breaks in this fight though. Uh, this uh, form, I should say. Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Here. Flare Stone. I'm not sure what to think about this as a boss fight though, you just kind of, it's a very basic background and all that, it's just in space with stars, it's honestly a little bit lazy. I was, uh, I was hoping they'd do something like they did with the, um, uh, those uh, boss fights earlier where the background becomes warped of different areas and stuff, that would have been a neat way to end it instead of this, but it is where it is. About to use the dual limit break hand. <laughs> you got laser eye. I basically just keep using the same two over and over because it's the fastest way to do it. Oh, for Zell's combo? Yeah. Yeah. I can get at least I can get usually about ten attacks in at least with this, so. Now I believe the amount of time you get with his limit break is based on how much health he has left. Like the less 
the health he has, the more time you get. That might be it. Because I do get, I do get a couple of limit breaks later where I have more health, but he only gets a couple more. He only gets a couple seconds instead of like eleven seconds. So mm. I think it must have something to do with that. Yeah. So the punch rush and the booyah is the quickest ones to do. They don't do quite as much um, damage, but you're less likely to fuck these ones up, so I would suggest going for these two over and over again. Yeah, you got some nice, well, I'll say crits on some of them, too. Like I said, I think probably with this one visit here with uh, Zell, I probably did about 20k worth of damage to Ultimecia. Yeah, it... Maybe even pass that because some of the hits were doing around 4,000 damage on some of them. True. We still got three seconds, well, two and a half seconds left. Yep. Yeah, it actually might be closer to 30. Yeah, one's like that one. <laughs> That was the last one right there. That was a lot, but unfortunately, still not enough to take the cat, uh, take the boss down. Yep. That was triples blown away. Yeah, I was getting a bit paranoid here because everybody was on one HP. So. Yeah, I don't blame you. Huh? They're still doing decent damage just from basic hits, but yeah. is I I get really really nervous when everybody's health is down to one or like in yellow when I know probably one half decent hit is gonna knock my character completely out for the count. And unfortunately, like I said in this fight, that can basically spell the end of them unless you resurrect them instantly. Yeah. I decided to try the Phoenix Pinion, or Pinion, I'm not sure I uh, said the word. Uh, just to see what it did, essentially. Pretty much the only way of summoning Phoenix in this game was to use that item. This is a pretty cool summon, though. Yeah. And it does nearly max damage as well, which is cool. Oh, I missed. So I bust only revive allies, not cure them. Mm. Never mind. Wait. Let's see. If you were a lower level again, uh, you would have a slightly less longer of a time with this because obviously the main, sorry, the uh, the final boss would have less health. So mm -hmm. it is the trade off. I'm just gonna see what this. Uh, this is about. Oh, this is just someone in the shameless shilling section. I think it was dying. Yeah, Gerald told me just probably getting sick of getting booyahed all Tell the time. <laughs> <laughs> Booyah! So annoying is shredded with the fucking cowabungas in TMNT. So it just goes to show how difficult this boss fight must be. well not difficult but how long this boss fight is. I mean yeah. Zell himself must have done about fifty K damage to the boss on a, on his own, so Yeah. Right, so we got the Mega Elixir coming here. Still not out for the count yet, though. He's a pain in the ass. And of course, after you use Mega Lectures, bonds by using Hell's Judgment again. <laughs> now, here's the thing, though. I would rather Ultimecia waste a turn using Hell's Judgment to knock me down to zero than to start attacking my characters when they're on low health. Right. So, or knock them down to one, yeah. Yeah, I'd rather them have one HP than to. Than of course, the other thing she kept doing was wasting time blowing away spells too. So yeah, I actually got a little bit lucky with this final form with 
how I managed to get her into a loop with using Megrelix and her using Health Judgment. And then I got, well obviously that was strategy, but then I got lucky with her not really attacking too often with other stuff, so. I believe actually we're coming close to the end of the fight, if I recall as well, so. But yeah, it's taken us, gotta be close, yeah, according to this about, if you don't want to include cutscenes, probably about 30 minutes so far to fight fight the final boss. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. Have, we've had fucking Welcome to the fighting Ultimisia in FF8, people. <laughs> yeah, fucking some trials in FF14 don't go on this long. Also, even if uh, the boss is down to nothing at this point. Uh, you'll still, you can still go, I believe, through the entire um, limit break with uh, Zell before the time runs out. So even if you had technically beaten him, you could still keep doing the thing until <laughs> the time ran out. Hashtag overkill. <laughs> Tell me about it. But I believe if you, if the car if the boss has no health left, you'll basically keep getting zero every time he punches the boss. Mm -hmm. I think I've. Pretty sure I saw that happen once in a let's play I watched years ago. I think I remember doing that with Irvine's like limit breaker when he was using the ammo limit breaks. We're down to zero, and then all of a sudden he stopped doing damage. Yeah. yeah. You can see the boss is still very much alive at this point. Reflect on your childhood. No. <laughs> yeah, I think once you start seeing this stuff, you're probably getting closer to beating the boss. <laughs> you're not too far off it anyway. Yeah. Uh, draw Apocalypse. Oh. Basically drawing our own magic now. <laughs> your sensation. Your words. Your emotions. Oh. Time. It will not wait. No matter how hard you hold on, it escapes you. You shouldn't have lubed up your penis. <sighs> right, so I can't even remember what Apocalypse actually, absolutely, uh, absolutely, actually does. I think it just did for high damage. Uh, maybe we're about to find out anyway. It's a pretty cool looking move though. Yeah. Yeah, that was a decent amount of damage there. Yeah, thankfully nobody got TKO'd, but uh, Zell did yeah. take a lot of damage there. Yeah. Oh, no kidding. <laughs> uh, so he actually got a bit lucky, and he even managed to get another um, limit break off of Zell, so... But as you saw, because I was at full health, I only got like four and a half seconds for the limit break. Right. Like, if I'd have been down to zero almost, I'd have... I'd like nearly 12 seconds, so. <laughs> big difference. Big difference. Yep. Yeah, I think Zell's probably got the most OP uh, limit break in the game, maybe. No, actually, that'd be Irvine, I guess. Although, I think Squalls has probably got the coolest one. Now, of all the characters, guess... but I think with Irvine, don't you have a limit to how much you can, like a time limit with how you much? You do, but if you've got a good trigger and fast ammo, you can fucking right. wreck everybody's. And look who gets the final hit. Fucking <laughs> Christus. <laughs> fucking Christus with a fourteen hundred, sorry, fourteen hundred something. Yeah. Zell does all that. He looks at Christus like, really? You get the final hit. <laughs> You've done le you've probably done less than ten fucking thousand uh, HP damage. I've done probably yeah. seventy thousand plus. I'm. Did you get the final hit, really? I would say the most OP limit break of any of this game is probably Squall with a Lionheart attached to it and the finisher there because you're not just talking the Renzo Kukin hits, but then Lionheart literally hits multiple times itself, and it's all like. And I don't know if it does it all the time, but depending on your stats, it can hit for. 
max damage on each hit mm. in that phase of it. So it's kind of like having clouded Omni Slash. 